everybody. Welcome to ABA Inside Track, the podcast that's like reading in your car, but safer. I'm your host, Robert Perry Cruz, and with me as always are my fabulous co-hosts. Hey, Rob, it's Diana. And it's me, Jackie. So, it's our September preview, and if you're here in America, you know the September means it's time to go back to school. Oh, oh, oh. Even after all these years, I'm... Still, still brings me down a little bit. You know, it makes it hard to talk about behavior analysis and behavior analytic research uh, for the month. You know, to tell our listeners what are the episodes they can enjoy in the doldrums of September. Oh, they're there, Rob. To hear. It can't I'm just, be that bad. Oh, I'm just so distraught. I just, I don't even know if I can tell them what exciting articles and topics we'll be talking All about. Right. So I, 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 I think I'm gonna. I just need a minute. I mean, maybe you guys want to take right, over. All right, sure. We sec. can just we can handle that. Okay. Yeah, okay. I think I'm I can sorry. also tell you that I love September. September because September brings about fall, brings about hot and cold days. Surprise. You never know what's it's coming. A real toss and up. school shopping. Back to school shopping. We all have really nice gear on right now. My new sweater for s- look, it's got yeah. fancies for September. This isn't, this isn't really cheering me up. Oh, but, but it know. should because you have on something that you all could purchase for back to school. And it's on oh, Raw. Yeah. Oh, an ABA Inside Track shirt. Yeah, everyone could go to our page on merch. It's, it's our merch on the website. You go to T Public and search for ABA Inside Track. I suppose that is one thing. If you want to get true. over the back to school like doldrums, that style. It's you like could, the baseball tee. That's just one style. You can get you know a copy of say you know our logo, which we kind of hung up there today. Uh, I We're guess fancy. you could get the ABA Inside Track baseball tee. That's the one I'm wearing. You you can wear that. I mean, I, hopefully that'll cheer you up a little bit in these. Right. Ugh, these sad days, you know, and, and hey, maybe you could wear it while you listen to this month's slate of topics even. All right. Sure. You want to hear what they are? I, I do. I do. Well, it's our third annual Supervision September. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that is that is a positive. So that's September. really exciting. That's yeah. Yeah. That is very exciting. We're going to have three episodes all on supervision for September and right. we're really excited. I'm super excited. Me too. Because I've been reading all these articles. <laughs> so so why don't I tell everyone what they are? Yes. So uh, it's a three-part series. The first part, we also have a special guest joining us, uh, which is Dr. Amy Henley. And she's going to talk about some of her research and uh, feedback topics. So the articles that we're going to read for Supervision Series 3, Part 1, are... DeGennaro Reed and Henley, 2015, a survey of staff training and performance management practices, colon, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And that was published in Behavior Analysis and Practice. Then we're also going to talk about Choi, Johnson, Moon, and Oa, effects of positive and negative feedback sequence on work performance and emotional responses. That was published in the Journal of Organizational Behavior Management, 2018. And then we're going to round it out. Uh, with an oldie but a goodie, Alvaro, Bucklin, and Austin, which is from 2001, uh, they did an objective review of the effectiveness and essential characteristics of performance feedback in organizational settings spanning the years 1985 to 1998, and that was also published in JOBM. Next up is part two, and in part two, we are going to talk about staff burnout. This is a uh, good topic that I'm pretty excited to talk about. So there's three articles we're going to review. The first is Hensel, Lunsky, and Dua, Exposure to Aggressive Behavior and Burnout in Direct Support Providers, the Role of Positive Work Factors. That was published in Research in Developmental Disabilities 2015. Then we're going to talk about Kazemi, Shapiro, and Kavner, Predictors of Intention to Turnover in Behavior Technicians Working with Individuals with Autism Spectrum Disorder. That was published in Research in Autism Spectrum Disorders 2015. And then finally, we're going to talk about Plantivo, Dunavi, and Viruez Ortega. High levels of burnout among early career board certified behavior analysts with low collegial support in the work environment. Very specific. It is very specific. That was published in 2018 in the European Journal of Behavior Analysis. Well, that's up. It made me sad again. I was really excited with our special guest and then burnout. That's ah, oh, it's depressing. I know. What, what, how are we going to end this? Month? Well, then we're going to bring it back up a little okay. bit in part three. We're going to talk about staff reinforcement systems. Oh, that's fun. I like. Yeah, that. I know. Pretty cool. So the three articles we're going to discuss in part three are going to be Twos, Michelle, and Stafford, 2013. Does fun pay? Question mark. The impact of workplace fun on employee turnover and performance. That's from Human Resources Management. 
And next up is Johnson and Dickinson, uh, published in 2010, Employee of the Month Programs. Do they really work? Question mark. That was published in the Journal of Organizational Behavior Management. And then finally, we're going to round it out with Wine, Edgerton, Inzana, and Newcomb, recently published 2017 in JOBM, Further Effects of Lottery Odds on Responding. So I'm really excited. Yeah, that sounds, that's a, that sounds pretty good. That sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there will all be for supervision CEs. You can uh, listen to all or just one. Your choice, but there will be three. Wow. You know, I, I don't know if it's a, a, a reinforcer for staff performance behavior, but, you know, you could go to the ABA Inside Track website and order gift certificates for CEs uh, yeah, those for are available. your staff if yeah. you wanted to. People would love that. I mean, we, we think. We, don't, we haven't done the research, but <laughs> we, we don't know if they love them. We know they need them. So <laughs> It's true. That's up there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, all right. Well, I'm feeling a little bit better about September. Uh, right. I'm feeling good enough that I think maybe we should go into uh, errata. See, see what else we can all right. we can talk about. The section of our show where we talk about emails, any mistakes we made, or any goings on in the field of behavior analysis. So, why don't we do that? Why don't we do that? I'm feeling a bit better. I think I can. I can handle it. All right. Jackie, do you have any errata for us? Uh, yeah. So we've gotten some, actually, quite a few requests since our August. Uh, episode on preschool life skills about the preschool life skills resources that we provide for free on the website. Uh, so I'm just going to give you a little rundown on how you get those. Uh, go to www.abainsidetrack.com, click on merchandise, then you click on the preschool life skills resources and it's zero dollars, so it's not. He has a picture of a boy doing this. Yep, there you go. Uh, then you add that to your cart, click on the cart in the r- upper right hand corner, Click checkout for zero dollars again. You don't have to pay for this. Free. Yep. Uh, this is just an easier way for us to get out the material as quick as possible. Uh, and then add your email. And then after you click checkout, add your email. And then all of the resources that we have been authorized to give that Rob has created and Dr. Hanley has created uh, will then... Go to your emails. These are just mine. Oh, just kidding. Yeah, these are but just, he, these are just based right. on based on Dr. Hanley's <laughs> right. research. Yeah, so he said it was okay. Through my own practice, through talking with Dr. Hanley, right. my own research. Yeah, yeah. Not, yeah. not my so. research, but my own reading of the research. Right. Yeah. So they're yeah. readily available. And please, please use them. You could also email Dr. Hanley. And I know he was gracious enough to share a lot of uh, the materials that he had put together. Some of the other researchers we talked about, I'm sure they would also share it. But if you want to save yourself time, there's a couple clicks and then they will yeah. a link will be emailed to you with some of these resources and use them as you as you will. Right. Yeah. Uh, another uh a, you know more concentrated emails that we've received in the last month have been about uh topics that people are interested in us talking about. Um and so thank you for emailing us. You know, we've been doing this show for quite some time now and sometimes we're like, what should we talk about? <laughs> what next? Uh and so it's really nice that you have some things that you're interested in that then we can find out for you. Uh so some topics include social skills curriculums, best practices around teaching social skills, uh how to work with traumatic brain injury yep. uh, injury individuals, Dual diagnoses. Yep. Um something about trauma informed care. Uh, is on the list. Yeah. So we have a whole running list of topics that have been recommended to us. But if you have something that you would be interested in hearing about that you don't think has come across uh, our episode list yet, or you want to make sure it gets added on there, then please email us yeah. at abainsidetrack at gmail.com and we will totally add it to the list. And, uh, and work our way yeah, down. Work our way through. So. Well, you know, you know what? I'm feeling a little bit better about September now. Oh, good. We've got Supervision Series Part Three. We've got Dr. Amy Henley coming on. We've got, you know, I know you guys are, are real pros at supervision training talks. So I'm, I'm excited to hear what you have to say about those topics. Cool. Uh, who knows what I will say? Probably something amusing we at never least. Know. You never can say. Uh, I, I love that we have our merch. I love that we have our gift certificates. I love that people can get all that preschool life skills information out there. And, and I love that people have ways to get in touch with us, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, they can get in touch with us on our website, abainsidetrack.com. They can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or anywhere they get podcasts. They can leave us a review. They can send us emails. They can go to Pinterest. Doc, at gmail.com. Oh, yeah, they can go anywhere social media yeah. and, and, and search us as ABA inside track go to youtube and find our episodes with subtitles oh there's so many fun ways to interact and talk about behavior analysis i i feel so much better guys thank you so much for ah oh, for for really making september wonder so remember, many ways I think. to procrastinate so many ways from your 
new school year responsibilities. Yes, that's, that's, that's true. That's true. Well, you know what? I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to go. I'm going to go learn more about supervision and then, and then come back here and listen all month to our supervision series. Well, I guess that brings us to the end of the episode. Okay. There's so much more to do. Uh, we, we hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back next week with the first of our Supervision Series 3. But until then, keep responding. Bye. Bye. Bye.